Aloha Kauai, here's our daily COVID-19 briefing from Team Kauai for Friday, April 17th. Happy Aloha Friday. The number of total confirmed cases remains at 21. Of those 21 cases, 17 individuals have either recovered or returned to their home on the mainland. The remaining four active cases are residents, three are in home isolation, and one remains in isolation in the hospital. All but one case has been confirmed to be travel related. Koi's tally of cases and other information on COVID-19 can be found at the Koi Emergency Management Agency or Kima site at www.koi.gov forward slash COVID-19. To view the total number of positive cases across the state, please visit hawaiicovid19.com. The daily count on this site is updated at noon every day. We have had questions in our community about how Kauai is administering COVID-19 testing and how many tests have been conducted for our county. We are pleased to inform you that the Department of Health is now posting testing numbers by county on their website at health.hawaii.gov forward slash coronavirus disease 2019 so you can see the numbers for yourself. Today we have our District Health Officer, Dr. Janet Berman, here to speak more about our testing rates and protocols. Mahalo, Mayor. We have in fact had lots of questions in our community about testing rates here in Hawaii, so I'm going to give you quite a bit of information about that today. But I want to start by saying that in fact our state and our island have testing rates considerably higher than the rest of the nation. You may have heard about South Korea and Singapore that are both considered model nations in terms of the testing that they've been doing. And those places have tested 10 to 12,000 people for every million people in their population. Our testing rate here in Hawaii, where we've done 20,000 tests and have a population of about 1.4 million, works out to about 14,000 tests per million people in our population. So we're actually doing very well in comparison to South Korea and Singapore. Of course, there's always room for improvement. No other country can compete with Iceland where they've already tested 10, one out of 10 of their residents or 100 million, 100,000 people per million population. Getting back to the United States, Hawaii is one of the top testing states in the country. And the states with more testing tend to be places with massive outbreaks like New York, Washington, and Louisiana. And we are fortunately not one of those states. Here on Kauai, we've conducted just over 1,000 tests. We have a smaller population than the other counties, but that's about the same testing rate per population as the rest of the state and it's 40% higher than the national average. Our testing in Hawaii was originally very tightly controlled and focused on those at highest risk. So you could only get tested if you were very ill or had a known exposure to someone who had COVID-19 or had traveled to a place with more disease. But those restrictions are no longer in place. The Department of Health issues guidelines for healthcare providers about how to prioritize testing. But the final decision about testing is made by the healthcare provider with the patient. As with most other health decisions, the clinician and the patient decide what is best. Public health provides context and guidance, but we don't direct the individual patient care decisions. When we hear about large-scale testing on other islands, many people have the impression that it's just drive up and anyone wants to who can, can get tested. But in fact, those getting tested at those sites need to meet testing criteria also. Many people who drive up expecting to get tested do not get tested at those sites. Our testing on Kauai actually works much the same way. Anyone who thinks they need to be tested for COVID-19 should contact their usual healthcare provider. Or if they don't have a regular provider, they can contact a community clinic or an urgent care center. When you have a doctor's order, the test swab for the, for the corona test can be collected at the drive through tent outside Wilcox Medical Center or at a clinic or doctor's office. Be sure you follow your health care provider's directions about where to have the swab collected. And remember, if you are tested, you must quarantine yourself at home until you get your results. 
the short version of this message is we do have community testing here on Kauai, although it looks a little different than it does on the other islands. Testing here and elsewhere is also dynamic, like nearly every aspect of this pandemic, and it will change in the coming weeks. I can't tell you exactly how it will change, but we anticipate that there will continue to be more testing capacity, there will be rapid testing, and eventually there will be blood tests that help identify people who have been exposed but may not have had symptoms. Blood tests may also allow us to determine who's had the disease and may be immune to it. So stay tuned. There's always something new happening in COVID-19 nearly every day. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. B, for this thorough explanation. We know our community will appreciate this information. On the note of testing, our friends at Wilcox Hospital would like to remind the public of its drive-up specimen collection site. Wilcox Medical Center provides physi physician-referred drive-up specimen collection for COVID-19 at its rear entrance every day from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Patients will need a physician order for the test a valid form of identification, and an insurance card, if you have one. Clinical Labs is handling the actual testing and billing process, which they will manage directly with patients, including those who do not have insurance. Turnaround time for the results from Commercial Labs is currently about four days. Patients who are tested must self-quarantine until your test results come back. As Dr. B stated earlier, testing capacity Technology and information will cons consistently change as things develop, so please continue to stay tuned. We'll share information here as we are updated. Again, the Department of Health is now posting testing numbers by county on their website at health.hawaii.gov forward slash coronavirus disease 2019. Finally, on behalf of all of us here in our, in our emergency operations center, we want to say mahalo, Koi, for doing all that you're doing day in and day out to protect those around you. That is the true Kauai spirit, to do things not for ourselves, but for the greater good of others. We know it's been tough, but our people are tougher. We're going to continue to work out the kinks with social services and find options for public assistance. We're going to continue to consider your questions, concerns, and suggestions as we constantly adapt to this unprecedented situation. And we're going to continue to be responsible in our actions to slow the spread of COVID-19 on our island so that we can keep making forward progress in taking a staged approach to get people back to work in a way that is safe and responsible. So let's continue to work together to stay home as much as possible refrain from social gatherings or public outings. If you must interact with people outside of your home, keep a distance of six feet of separation and wear a mask. Do not leave home if you are sick, unless you're seeking medical attention, and then only after calling your doctor first. Wash your hands frequently and clean surfaces often. We're gonna get through this. Kauai stay informed and connected during this time of social distancing. We'll continue to post updates on our official County of Kauai Facebook page, or on our Koi Emergency Management Agency page at www.koi.gov forward slash COVID-19. The Centers for Disease Control is also updating its website regularly. For more information, please visit coronavirus.gov. Not everyone has internet access or follows the news, so please help to keep your loved ones informed. Once again, Koi, we can do this. Hang in there, take care of one another. God bless and aloha.